Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful, beautiful video on this beautiful, beautiful channel. How's a beautiful, beautiful day? How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Please check out the description box for all the nice links. Also drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Boom. All right, let's go. We had a little error in the last video. I just want to make sure we fix that. And that is because we're working with unsigns. Okay. And unsigns are never fun to use because you got to check. Sometimes you got to check stuff for zero below zero and that just messes everything up. Uh, especially if you're trying to lose exp and stuff like that so um there are ways to do it but what i want to do is i pretty much just want to change everything to integers because it's, it's annoying to not have integers okay and we we'll, might go back someday if we if we really want to but it doesn't really matter we won't use that big of a number anyway uh so just go ahead and wherever it says unsigned just put it into integer like that uh, in player at least and then we're going to go into our attribute component cpph it's going to change everything in here to integers because these can go below zero so can these because we're going to be negating stuff and level probably not but still uh, it's it's good to have integers so just go in go ahead in here just say unsigned okay just search for unsigned and wherever it says on sign, we're going to change stuff up. All right. Same thing here. Unsigned. All right. And we're just going to change everything that it has to do with unsigned. Uh, boom. Change that. Everything here seems fine. Don't cast that to unsigned. Okay. Pretty much, pretty much it, I think. Also, just for safety, we're just going to check entity here. We're going to see so we don't have any unsigned anywhere. Should be fine. Should be good. Now, if I run this, and we're going to look for the errors and warnings, uh, probably three warnings. Okay, good. And we'll check those out in a minute. Let's just see if this still works. So we can add and go below. Now it's not going below zero. See? Now it's not going below zero. All right? It's not going below zero. That's exactly what we wanted. So perfect. Good shit. Now we're going to, um, now we are going to check out the warnings. So signed, unsigned, mismatch. All right, all right, all right. Um, let's see. Less than. Oh, so we're getting a bunch of these because size is a size T. And X is an integer. So we might cast this to an integer. Static cast int. All right, we're just casting it to an integer. Any way you can. The size, that's kind of, um, it's kind of annoying, but we might have to do it here because we don't want any warnings, remember? We don't want any any problems there let's see it shouldn't be any warnings now still zero warnings okay we're good zero warnings we're good to go and everything seems to be working just fine no problems now i need a smaller character and i need nicer textures pretty much it now we're gonna start moving these things about okay and the gui we need to show more stuff we need to show the level we need to show um the uh, the level the uh what do you call it the inventory buttons and stuff like that. We need to create an inventory. There's a bunch of things we got to do, okay, to work with the game. And we're going to go back and forth here. We're going to work with the game a little bit. We're going to work with some other stuff sometimes. So uh, I'm just going to jump back and forth a little now and then. So I'm going to make this a little smaller as well. 40. And pretty much going to put this at the position the EXP bar is. So I'm going to set that to about 70 almost. Or 80. No, 80 is cool. Because we're going to need to show the level as well. This will be about maybe 40. Uh, wait, how wide is that? 30. So 40, 30, 70, 80. That's, that's okay. Height, 40. Okay. That seems nice. Maybe we want these to be the same size pretty much. What if we did that? That would be cool, right? Pretty much, pretty much. 16, 
14. Now, obviously, you can do any anything you want here. You don't have to um, follow me on this. Okay. Uh, close all but close all but this. All right. So we're just gonna work with the player GUI. Let's open up the H file. Here we go. Um, all right. All right. All right. All right. Okay, what are we gonna do right here? Void init level level um, level element. I guess we'll call it level element. I don't know what we should call it. Uh, level element level. Um, maybe level bar. I don't know. It'll be some kind of a bar. I think. We'll see. We'll go with it. We'll see what happens. Uh, okay, there you go. So what we're going to print here is not going to be any percentage. We don't have to calculate anything. Uh, we just need to update it pretty much. And we're probably going to need these things as well. So I'm just going to copy these in here. Okay, probably not going to need all of that. Uh, but let's go into here again. And let's say level bar. All right. Hmm. It's going to be a little different. We'll see how that how that looks. All right. It'll be a lot smaller though. I'm pretty sure it should be about 50 50 or 30 30 maybe. Just a little small box. Um position maybe 20. Yeah, you know, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Um we don't need this since it's not going to grow really. No, probably going to need all of these. Let's set these up first. All right, so we're going to need the string. We're going to need the text. We're not going to need that. We're not going to need the inner. We're just going to need the back. Okay. Level. Uh, level bar text. All right, level bar back. So those are the things we're going to need. This is fine. Um, I didn't change this, did I? No. Okay, I'm good. So we're going to need the back. We're not going to need the inner. We're going to need the text. That's cool. All right, we're going to set the size. Positioning. The color is fine. Positioning. Maybe we want a little larger text here. Maybe even maybe 18. Okay, we'll set that. Bar. Right, now we need to do exp to see what what I need to change. Um, I'm just gonna say level everywhere. Level bar. Uh, level bar. Now what you could do, you could actually keep level and exp together somehow, make some kind of a larger element. Um, but this, if you do it this way, you have a little more modular. And you can kind of uh, change those places around, right? You don't need your EXP bar when you where your level is showing. So kind of that way if you want. Uh, anyway, there you go. Plus 10, plus 5, I don't know, whatever. Doesn't matter. Something like that. I don't care. I just want to see if it's showing. It's going to be 30, 30. This is probably going to want to be further down. Wait, this is 20, 20. Then this has to be the height is 20. Okay, it needs to be about 50. Right? No, 60 in that case. 60. All right, because the height is 20, 30 of that, then uh, 60. This height is 30, so 90, 100 even. 100 here. All right. So there you go. Okay, should be fine. Should be looking good. Looks good, looks good. Then we need to go in here. Level bar string, fine. Level bar text, level bar blah, blah, blah. Init level bar. So we're, we'll just call that function really quick before I forget. In, uh, in here. This init level bar. All right. Sorry if I'm going a little fast here. I'm trying not to really. But sometimes it happens, right? Void update level bar 
and then void render level bar now there's no way to really get around the amount of rendering things going so i mean the gui can take up a bunch of you know processing power if you update stuff in unnecessarily these aren't really large updates but they are still updates so uh, you might want to be careful with how many elements you put here and when you update stuff so uh, as you'll see soon probably we'll, we'll optimize some stuff later right now it's just to get the easy rendering and updating out right that's that should always be your first step almost if you're not completely confident just make sure something work and then you try to optimize it um, I like doing it that way anyway uh, so we're gonna update the level bar in here and then we're gonna render the level bar here all right level bar target and updating it shouldn't be that big of a deal rendering is fine we'll just copy this into the here we'll just say level instead of exp and then we'll remove the center one the inner one so we'll just render the background and the text and in the update function probably what you want to do is you want to just copy this from the exp the text part and you want to say the level bar string is the level basically that's about it that's about it you just want to remove the rest just make sure it's two string uh, why are you complaining are you serious oh you don't need that other one okay there you go okay and then we'll say level no Ugh. level bar text set string this level bar text bar string there you go all right so now it's sh should be fine now it's just a matter of kind of positioning stuff and we'll probably get back to that in the next one now we're gonna have to start working on some other stuff i'm not sure what i want to work on so there you go that's your level if i move up probably it will go to two three four and then you just keep leveling all right so that pretty much worked the calculations look good that looks fine doesn't really suit the art style obviously probably gonna have to make some other type of a a thingy going there some other uh, textures and stuff but you know it works it works to show off the data that's the most important part right now now if I look at how big the exp bar is I probably want to shorten that down I want to say 60 there and then I want to say 90 here to make the exp bar a little smaller and it's just the final thing I'll, I'll turn the video off after this I just, want, I just need to see this I'm kind of I kind of need stuff working nicely like that okay so that looks good the text is probably gonna have to go up a little bit and or or become a little smaller most probably maybe set that to 12 and see if it's going there okay 12 something like that whatever we'll check it out in the next video anyway that's it for this one Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully it was fun. Uh, we need to find more stuff to do. So I'm trying. I'm going to try to figure out how to work with maybe some kind of inventory thing soon. And then uh, add some new textures. And just go from there. See, see what we can do, right? Uh, but until then, thank you so much for watching. Check out the description box. Drop a like. Subscribe if you like the content. And I appreciate all your support. Okay, thank you so much. Take care. I'll see you guys and girls in the next one. Bye-bye.